Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog and I hope you all are doing good. Like how I mentioned in my previous video, it takes some time for me to get on track after we are back from our vacation from our homeland. And yes, I am getting back to my usual routine, feeling fresh and energized each day. I hope you enjoy today's vlog. It was Rehan's birthday on the 21st of this July. He wanted to invite many of his friends. Unfortunately, his birthday falls on a day or in the month when everyone is on vacation. So he never gets a chance to invite them to a birthday party. However, very few of his close friends were back in Muscat. So he invited them to Pizza Hut and we had a great time with all of them. I had taken a few cutting of plants from our home in Kerala had to place those in the soil. Not sure if those will grow here in Oman. I needed soil for it as the one I bought last time before leaving, which you might have seen in my makeover video. It's almost over. Bought a bigger bag this time. This is one type of pothos. It's called, I think, Monstera. It's my favorite because I love to see those patterns on the leaves. It looks pretty and the plant itself will give a different look when it grows well. I will place these in water till the roots come well later will transfer to soil. I mix the soil and water first in a separate bucket so that I get the proportion right. I did show this in the makeover video as well. Now this is perlite or oxygen granules that you get in nurseries at a very cheap rate. This helps the plants to grow well. I have these small pots that I had saved last time. There are two small cuttings which is almost dried even though they were placed in water. I hope they regrow well in the soil. So that's why keeping it in smaller pots to see if it comes back to life. This is another plant that grows very well in Indian soil. It needs very less maintenance. You don't have to even wait for any roots to come. Just place it as such in the soil. Not sure how it will do here. Anyways, hoping for the best. After planting all, I added a few perlite granules on top which I have seen in potted plants that we get from nurseries. You can see the roots coming from the leaves and the stem of the ZZ plant. It's more than a month now and I'm happy to see the roots. I'll wait for a week more and then transfer to another pot. Later that night, we had been invited to a restaurant in Barka to try out their varieties. I've shared a reel on Instagram on them. You can check out that.
waking up early these days are not easy as how it will be during school days and i need to get used to that routine soon because school is opening on august 1st For breakfast almost every day it's avil milk and it's refreshing too because the weather here is too hot and humid This is how I store grated coconut that I bought from home. I bought a big airtight container and store it not tightly packed, then place that in the freezer. I make sure it's loosely packed so that even after being taken out from the freezer, it's easy to take out with a spoon. Rehan isn't a fan of freshly added coconut to any dish, so I skip that for him. I mash one banana per person and add a few spoons of washed avil. My mom asked me if I need organic avil that they get from the mill and I said no. But I now regret the answer I gave. I wish I had taken it. Then some nuts, I add cashew nuts mostly. Kids will need it extra sweet so I added a bit of sugar. mash everything well and then i added some cold water and some cold milk and now for me For lunch it was a simple menu. I had a few vegetables in the fridge so made use of it all. I had back pain when I was in Kerala and had to consult an ortho. I did my blood test and it showed my vitamin D level was low. The doctor gave me suggestions for food intake and one was about rice. He said puni rice is more polished so I need to change it to either red rice or brown rice and also to get enough sunlight. So I need to change my habits accordingly.
I was not sure of what curry to prepare for lunch. Anyways, cooked some tur dal with water, salt, turmeric powder, red chili powder, and some coriander powder. This is the new pressure cooker I bought from Kerala because I wanted a small cooker for cooking in less quantity. Has some bitter gourd so prepared a side dish with it. To our surprise, Arman loves the taste of bitter gourd. Earlier I used to make it just for me and my husband. Rihan needs to get used to it. He doesn't even want to taste it because he knows it's very bitter. I will tell you some other time how I started eating. It's a story that remains for life with me and my mother. The dal was cooked in two whistles and after the pressure is completely released, open the lid and I added a few vegetables I had. I cut in small pieces. Check the water level and add accordingly. Cover and cook for one more whistle. Fry the bitter guard pieces in hot coconut oil till they turn to a light brown in color. Make sure you don't burn them. I enjoy fish as a curry or any other fish gravies than fried fish but my family is the opposite. So I fry for them and prepare a gravy for me which is simple. I crush some shallots, green chilies, ginger and garlic and add that to a clay pot. Then to that add some tamarind or garcinia, coconut oil, salt, turmeric powder, crushed black pepper and a few fenugreek seeds. Mix them well. Add some warm water and then goes in the fish pieces. Today I took sardines for all. Gently mix everything well and place on medium flame till it starts to boil. Then reduce to very low flame and slow cook. Meantime this is ready. This is done. Make a blend of grated coconut along with shallots, garlic and a few fennel seeds. Add some warm water and make it to a smooth blend. Now turn on the flame. Pour the coconut blend and let it boil for a minute.
temper the curry with mustard seeds and dried red chilies. I didn't have curry leaves at this time, so you don't see me using how I widely use it in my cooking. For the fish marinade, crushed shallots, ginger and garlic. Then to that, I added some turmeric powder, Kashmiri red chilli powder, coriander powder, coconut oil, salt and crushed black pepper. Forgot to add lemon juice. I added some warm water and then mixed well. Marinate the fish pieces for some time. I fried those towards the end. To finish off the bitter curd dish, add some curd to a bowl. Now add the fried bitter curd pieces and mix well. Check salt and add accordingly. Now you will have to temper this with mustard seeds and dried red chilies along with some curry leaves if you have. Add the hot oil as well to enhance the flavour. I have heard many times that fish when deep fried like how we deep fry chicken tastes better than tawa fry or shallow fry. So this time try deep fried sardines for my family to see if they enjoyed those better than the other way. And yes they did. Not sure how sliced fish can be done the same way, need to check out myself one day. I wake up late these days so I am not able to go for an early morning walk. As the doctor said, I have to get enough sunlight and I have been planning every next morning to go walking and that never happens. So at least evening, something is always better than nothing, right? So I take a walk in the evening and it's always better walking outdoors than going to a gym or a home walking on the treadmill. You see nature and get connected and it's date season now. I have been taking dates too as my iron level again is less compared to what it should be. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. See you with another one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.